and welcome back to the Katie Home Cook Kitchen. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make vanilla custard. So let's get started. I absolutely love homemade custard. It seems like it could be tricky, but it's actually really quick and simple and so worth making. I've got 600 millilitres of milk in a saucepan ready to go on and I'm going to add to that about a teaspoon of vanilla paste. You could also add a vanilla pod if you wanted to and then scrape with the seeds but I didn't have any, I had this. And you can also flavour your custard with other things like lemon zest or orange zest, orange blossom water. You can experiment once you've got the basics down. So I've got a bowl here. So to that I'm going to add three egg yolks. Uh, we're not going to be using the white, so you could use those for a different recipe, for um, pavlova or something like that. And if you're not going to be making that straight away, you can actually freeze your egg whites and they work really well from frozen in a pavlova. And to this, uh, three egg yolks, I'm going to add two tablespoons, if it's going to come out, of corn flour and 25 grams of sugar. And we're going to mix that all together to make a paste. And we want this to, to sort of scald, so you don't want to actually boil the milk, that would be taking it too far. But you do want to see bubbles start into form. And at this point you don't want to leave your milk, you want to keep your eyes on it the whole time. turn that off because I can hear it start into bubble and I can see steam starting to come off it. So I'm going to add a little bit to my paste and then we're going to add the rest of it, slowly but surely. Give that a good mix and then I'm going to pour it back into my saucepan. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm in a mess. Don't make a mess. And then we're going to pop that back on the heat. And again, you don't want to leave your custard because it could catch and burn at any point. It is a little bit notorious for that. So keep it stirred for about five minutes and you want it nice and thick, thick enough to coat the back of a spoon. starting to thicken up but it's not quite caught in the back of my spoon yet. So you can see it's really starting to thicken up now and it's caught in the back of my spoon nicely. And homemade custard isn't thick like shop-bought custard or the tinned custard. So this is just about perfect now and ready to serve on top of something delicious. So that's the custard all made. And luckily for me, I've got a lovely apple pie to put it on. Uh, although it goes with crumbles uh, and just about any really you can drink it if you like. <laughs> if you do want to see how I made the apple pie, please hit on the link above and that will be there for you. Thanks very much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, if you could leave me a big thumbs up. And if you want to see more of my videos, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And I'll see you all next time. Bye bye!